Namaste, I am Dr. S. Muthukkani. I am a consultant neurologist and epileptologist currently working at Apollo Hospitals, Greens Road, Chennai. Today, we are going to discuss some important information about epilepsy and its management. What is epilepsy? Epilepsy is a neurological problem in which a person gets repeated attacks of seizures. And this is a very quite a common neurological problem. Who does epilepsy affect? Epilepsy can affect a person in any age group. It can affect a newborn who is just one day old to a person who is above 80 years. How common is epilepsy? Epilepsy is a very common neurological problem. If you look at the global statistics, it affects 6 to 7 crore people all around the globe. It is a very common problem in developing countries like India. In India, it affects almost more than a crore people throughout India. So it's not, a spe it's not specific to any uh, specific region in India. What happens in your brain when you have epilepsy? So when a person gets seizure, there will be increased firing among the neurons. So if you look at the neurons, there will be current which will flow throughout the neuron. It will be a normal flow. So when the seizure happens, there will be increased current throughout the neurons. When there is increased current, it will manifest like a seizure. So that's what happens when a person gets seizure. What are the types of epilepsy and their symptoms? There are mainly two types of epilepsy. One is focal epilepsy, another one is generalized epilepsy. Focal epilepsy means the seizure starts from a particular part of the brain. Then it will spread to the nearby areas. If you take the generalized seizure, the generalized seizure is what we had seen in many films. A person gets a generalized movement in the body. They will the head, the hands and legs will jerk like this. There may be some uprolling of eyes. They may bite their tongue, and there may be urine or motion incontinence during the seizure. So this is a seizure called generalized seizure. The second type is focal seizure. It can manifest in different ways. A, a person with focal seizure, they can just lose the awareness for maybe one or two minutes. At that time, they may look confused. They may look here and there. And they can have some oral movements like chewing movements. And they can have some automatisms also like they, their hands move like this. They may fumble in the bed or they can try to run out of the bed or run out of the home. What are the seizure triggers? Any particular thing which triggers the seizure are called seizure triggers. It may vary from person to person. For example, the common seizure triggers are poor sleep. If they don't take the medications at the correct time, that means poor drug compliance. If they get some fever, sometimes it can trigger seizure. If a person gets any infection, a systemic infection that can also trigger seizures. How can someone figure out the seizure triggers? They basically need to document when they do get seizures, at what time they are getting seizures and what were they doing at the point of seizure onset. What causes epilepsy? There are various reasons for a person to get epilepsy. The causes are different in children and in older adults. If you take epilepsy in children, the common reasons in India, the main reason is perinatal problem. Perinatal means when the baby is getting delivered, sometimes there can be some problems. So because of that problem, the child or the neonate may not get adequate blood supply to the brain or there may be drop in the blood oxygen level during that time. So when there is drop in the oxygen level or drop in the blood flow to the brain, it can damage a particular parts of the brain and it can manifest with epilepsy shortly later. Other common reasons are there may be some infections which can affect the brain which will manifest with the seizures or it can be because of some genetic problems which can happen during the childhood period. How is epilepsy diagnosed? See epilepsy is a clinical diagnosis. 
so to diagnose a person with epilepsy you may not require anything more other than history itself so a detailed history and added neurological examination will tell you whether that patient had epilepsy or not but there are some additional investigation which will help you to find or to confirm whether that patient has epilepsy if it is epilepsy what kind of epilepsy whether it is a focal epilepsy or generalized epilepsy the two tests which we commonly do one is mri brain to rule out any structural problems in the brain the other test is eeg called electroencephalography how is epilepsy treated see there is there are various modalities of epilepsy treatment nowadays the first and foremost treatment is giving drugs to treat epilepsy they are called anti seizure medications or anti epileptic drugs so once you give medications if they take the medications regularly then the seizures will get controlled can epilepsy be prevented so now we have discussed about various reasons for epilepsy and we know that the common reason for epilepsy in childhood is perinatal problem so that means that something happens during and around the time of delivery or just before that and after that so if you take care of that antenatal antenatal means before delivery and during delivery and immediately after delivery if you take care of uh, um, oxygen status and blood glucose levels for the uh, neonate then to a re large reasonable extent you can avoid epilepsy in those age groups is there a cure for epilepsy see we have discussed about several managements for epilepsy so if you look at the cure part in around 60 to 70 percent of people with epilepsy they will get complete seizure control if they take the anti seizure medications regularly and the remaining two third of people they may not get seizure freedom with the medications alone so in that one third of group that means 30 percentage of people they require additional investigation and to a significant uh, group of people they can get seizure freedom following epilepsy surgery how can someone manage a person with seizure suppose you are with a patient who had epilepsy and suddenly they throw a seizure so how should you manage so we can remember that as the sequence as stay safe and side the first one is stay you need to stay with the patient you need to time the event when the seizure started and if required you can inform the nearby hospital emergency as early as possible second step is safe you need to safeguard the patient from the nearby harmful obstacles they may be very close to a bed or uh, some stool or something so during the seizure they can injure themselves so you need to take away all those sharp objects from the patient and the third step is side once the seizure gets over you need to side the patient either to right side or left side so these are the three steps which you need to do during an episode of seizure what are the differences between convulsions seizures and epilepsy both convulsions and seizures are same epilepsy is a problem or is a condition in which a person gets repeated seizures so that's how it's different from seizure today we have discussed what is epilepsy how people with epilepsy they do manifest with the seizures what are all the possible reasons for epilepsy what are all the do's and don'ts when a person gets seizure and how do we manage a person with epilepsy thank you very much stay safe stay healthy and stay informed so if you come across any patient or your relative who has seizure symptoms you can consult a nearby neurologist for further information